There's no better way to quench your thirst than with a nice cold glass of water. Ah, that hits the spot. After all, getting enough water is important to your health. But can you have too much of a good thing? What is this? Water. It's horrible. Is there such a thing as drinking too much water? This is your body on drinking too much water. Up to 60% of the adult body is water. Every day, we need water to survive. But what if we drank more than we need? What would that do to you? Water is essential to a healthy life. In addition to hydrating, it regulates temperature, prevents constipation, and flushes out waste byproducts. What did you eat? It also helps you perform all major bodily functions. On average, a healthy adult should drink two to three liters of fluids every day. But if you drink more, well, you might run into some problems. Ugh, why does that feel so weird in your stomach? Okay, so you're feeling thirsty, but before you go chug, you should know there's a limit to what your body can handle. Overhydration is caused by drinking more water than your kidneys can process. Ew. It can also be caused by water retention when your body can't get rid of water properly. You might run into this problem if you suffer from congestive heart failure, liver disease, kidney problems, or uncontrolled diabetes. Diabetes. Believe it or not, you can also get a little tipsy if you've had too much water. I don't feel anything. While it is rare, water intoxication can be an issue for endurance athletes. That's not running, let's go! It's also known as water poisoning. The amount of salt and electrolytes in your body becomes too diluted and can disrupt brain function. But electrolytes such as potassium, sodium, and magnesium help regulate everything from your kidneys to your heart. It's got electrolytes. If the electrolytes in your body drop too low too quickly, you could die. Don't take your moron! When you drink more water than your body needs, your cells slowly swell and the concentration of salt in your blood decreases. If you continue to drink, the color of your urine will change. It'll go from pale yellow to colorless. As your electrolytes become too diluted, you get a lingering headache and start to feel nauseous. Gross. Your brain cells begin to swell, increasing the pressure in your skull. This can lead to vomiting, dizziness, and confusion. Who, who am I? Eventually, your muscle aches will turn into painful muscle spasms or cramps. Your feet, hands, and lips will swell. The cramps and dizziness worsen and become seizures. Eventually, you'll fall unconscious. You'll need immediate medical attention or you could fall into a coma and die. Ah! Hyponatremia is the clinical term for an abnormally low amount of sodium in your blood. Endurance athletes, such as marathon runners, are at risk of hyponatremia due to overhydrating during a race. No water for me. Not while rabies causes fear of water. A study performed on U.S. Army trainees found that soldiers developed symptoms of hyponatremia after consuming 1.9 liters of water per hour. Drink water! But you can easily avoid water intoxication. Let your thirst dictate how much water you should drink. This will keep you hydrated without overdoing it. If you do start to experience symptoms of overhydration, you should cut back on your fluid intake. Take a water pill to increase your urine output. There's something wrong with your toilet. Or stop any medications causing the problem. I don't like it. And be sure to get medical attention. Okay, now that you're sick of all that water, why not try drinking only Mountain Dew? I am thirsty. We'll find out what that would do to you on another episode of Your Body On.